Caddis Maximus here. Short little video about this performance tool antenna wrench. These are traditionally the type of antenna wrenches that people do run into as opposed to say the antenna sockets I reviewed earlier. Didn't pay a bad price, I actually got this for real cheap. This is continuing with the performance, to, uh, performance tool week. These things, not a lot to it. It's a chrome plated piece of uh, stamped steel and you have some of the most and excuse me, most common removing the bezel nuts that provide the sealing around the antenna hole. Now, what's handy about a wrench, and really they go along with the sockets, is a couple of things. Uh, one, there is actually some differences between these. The wrench provides both a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter wrench, uh, as well as a 7 16 and a half inch wrench, and some of the most uh, common bezel nut sock or uh, bezel nut adapters they have these little slots that are cut into them what's interesting is like a decent say this eight piece antenna nut socket gives you a bunch of options but there are some differences say this two pin here is not duplicated in this socket set the closest is this kind of specialized one here but we can see that it actually has a, a different spacing so it's handy that way and then it's handy because you actually can remove the actual antenna mass with these wrenches or I should say these cutouts, and uh, pretty much completes the set. And oddly enough, at least with this ATD set, this wrench actually fits in this case just fine. So really, if you do have uh, some antenna nut sockets, one of these wrenches would be handy, just because they end up com uh, com complementing and completing the set, and it would be more of a quote-unquote master set to have both the sockets and one of these. I'll have to say for a piece of sheet metal, it sure is shiny. This is a really surprisingly uh, well chrome plated tool from performance tool. Many times these types of things aren't chrome plated very well, but this is definitely a high luster uh, and definitely seems pretty thick. We can look right along the edge there um, and it's filled in the gaps, the sheer uh, area along the piece of steel and so not really too bad even when it has a normal price of seven ten dollars so these are kind of cool and then this video also brings attention if you ever run into these really oddly shaped pieces of sheet metal they are an antenna or nut wrench and they definitely can come in handy and I should say that I believe this is going to be a form of alloy steel because to tell you the truth especially like where it's cut out here for how for how uh, this isn't particularly thick I'd say maybe a sixteenth of an inch or maybe you know two and a half millimeters or something pretty rigid. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. This actually feels like a pretty quality piece of steel. Definitely feels uh, hardened. Just because a piece of steel, a sixteenth of an inch thick, this long with all these cutouts, if it was mild steel, you would just be able to bend it pretty easily, surprisingly enough, because there just isn't a lot of cross section in some of these areas. But this thing's actually definitely pretty rigid. So overall, I think a uh, decent antenna nut wrench. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.